Hello everybody, this is a small tutorial on how to install R and R Studio on your computer, on your Windows computer, and how to configure it so that it smoothly works with um, the uh, workflow instructions that we have published at TilburgScienceHub.com. So uh, here you see my computer and I'm opening my browser and I navigate to the site um, at TilburgScienceHub.com and I go to the installation instructions for R. Also do that so that you are you can be sure you're using the most up-to-date instructions, which obviously will change over time. So the first thing that we do is we install R by going to the R homepage and selecting our relevant version here I'm on Windows, and you choose to install base R and download the most current version of the software which is a great statistical uh, modeling language um, that I extensively use also um, for large-scale data preparations. So uh, you can uh, choose any language you want and as a first suggestion I, I advise you to put R not into the program files folder but directly to your C drive at CR and then R in that version number. So don't put it into the program files folder um, I worked on projects where um, it was complicated to get a few things running smoothly um, when the R path includes spaces. So um, putting it into this path ensures it doesn't contain any spaces. So please do that. Um, you can accept all the other um, default settings and uh, wait for this installation procedure um, to finish. What we now also have to do is we need to um, add the path in which R is located to our environment variables. This is necessary so that R can be found from um, any directory on our computer. And um, the way to do this is to open your start menu and type environment to get um, the first um, a few settings here to edit the environment variables for your account. Um, if you are on a different uh, uh, operating system uh, in terms of language, um, you need to uh, search for that term in your language. Just Google what the best translation for environment variables is in your language. In Dutch, for example, it's omgevingsvariable. So um, uh, you go to path um, and uh, click on new and browse and you select your R directory and then you select the subfolder bin for binary. So that's where R sits. Click on OK and uh, you can close uh, the browser. And when you open a command prompt, uh, for instance, by opening the start menu and typing command prompt or by pressing Windows key and R and typing in CMD and pressing enter, same thing here, you can just type R and uh, you'll see R popping up. And if this is happening on your side, um, you've just uh, uh, um, successfully implemented the first uh, part of this um, installation video. Now the second part is to install our studio and um, I'm heading back to TilburgScienceHub.com and that setup page for R and um, here we provide you also with a link to installing um, uh, the free version of our studio. It's um, uh, our studio is a great um, interface of using R. It's much more convenient than just the base R that we've just installed. You just head to, uh, head to the uh, RStudio desktop free, click on download, uh, select your um, uh, relevant version for whatever operating system you're on, wait for the download to finish, and then you can go um, ahead with the installation procedure. So right now I'm still waiting for the download to finalize. Now I can click on it. And um, just install it with the default instructions. That also takes a while um, for, um, for the installer to finish. Um, I'm heading back to uh, Tilburg Science Hub right now to check whether there are any other instructions um, to follow, which I may already start doing. Um, well, this we can only do once RStudio is there. 
uh, we've already made available R via the command prompt with uh, the settings um, uh, outlined over here. And we've already uh, checked whether R works from the command line. So now I'm just waiting for our studio to finalize and it has. Um, so now you find our studio um, uh, in your list of, of installed software and um, it should start up looks much more decent and a little less geeky than what we've seen on the command prompt just uh, just a few minutes ago um, now the last thing to do is install whatever packages we recommend here I'll just click on copy um, and uh, go back to R and just paste that um, uh, um, paste that snippet um, and uh, select the default options and uh, you know you may have to uh, click um, on a couple of yeses um, to to finalize this installation procedure and then you're all set um, so uh, thanks uh, very much uh, for for watching this uh, tutorial video on installing R and R studio and configuring it in a way so that it works with our workflows um, that we publish at TilburgScienceHub.com. Thanks a lot for your attention.